here we go, folks. Day number three. Here we go, bro likes breakfast, let's go. Good morning, Brittany Almond. Good morning. How are you? Happy I'm birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks, I am so happy to be here. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, okay. So, so we're gonna start off this way right here. What's up, Andy? How we doing, man? Hey, give him a fist bump. Hey, what's up, dude? It's good to see you, bud. <laughs> Thanks for coming out to the show, man. Hey, are you a Ford guy or a Dodge Ram kind of guy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. Well, appreciate it. Good job with the rebranding. Hey, Andy, what's your thought on good debt versus bad debt? Andy, what do you think about zero percent interest financing? I think you should take advantage of that. All right, well, hey, man, I don't want to take your whole show. You look busy. We'll, we'll catch up with you in a little bit. Hang in there. It'll work for you, bud. All right, hey, Mike Fletch. Good morning, bud. What's going on, buddy? We meet again. Yes. Did you get some sleep? A little bit less awkward this time with I, the fist bump. I got you, bro. Yeah. Is that like a U.S. thing or a Canada thing? That's a Canada thing. We all like right. to make it as awkward Gosh. as possible. All right. Jeremy, everybody that was cooking, Mark, give them all a round of applause for putting this together. Woo! Thanks to Weston for sponsoring it all. Oh, I didn't buy the bacon. You yeah, did the work. Okay, <laughs> so Andy's gonna draw the ticket. So it's gonna be like, <laughs> where's his hand? Like Dan. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Line drawing. All right. Are you go. ready? Hold on. Let me. All right, hang on. Who flew here? We gotta pull all those out. <laughs> We're not shipping this thing. I learned that from Brian. No, no shipping. don't ship things. All right, here we go. <laughs> Woo! Go, Andy. Oh, we go. Got it. What is it? It is seven. <laughs> Zero, six, yeah. seven, Sorry. nine, seven. Oh, oh, oh. Who we got? No. Who we got? Anybody? Oh! Yeah. Did you drive? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. yes. Oh. <laughs> Congrats, man. There you go. There you go. <laughs> hey, good morning. Good morning. How are we doing, everybody? Good. First thing in the morning, you want to be on camera? Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Did you get some sleep? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> How long did you guys stay out? I got home at 12.30. 12.30? Wow. Wait, Mom and Dad's right out. Wow. Wait till you hear the podcast. Oh, yeah. You guys did a podcast at 12? Stuff. Scary. Yeah. Oh, you did a Friday show probably. <laughs> no, it's no. not a Friday show. It actually wasn't on our podcast. Well, some of it was. We're gonna split it. You're gonna, so you guys did a podcast together? Yeah. At midnight? In our room. Oh, just wow. that I'm sure that's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got the uh, bro life breakfast. Look at this. Check this. So guys, check this out. I got the LS tractor booth. Always a beautiful looking booth. I don't know too much about their tractors, but I do know that a lot of you guys love seeing these and want to hear more information about them. But I just wanted to jump in here really quick. Look at this thing. All right. It's a really really cool booth. And we're right next to. The Bradley Mowers and Brandon Bull. So All right, guys, so we're zipping around this place. Hopefully, you're enjoying the whole uh, video. Xmark booth, we're going to be here in a minute. Echo booth behind us. That's Jason Willink. He was on the podcast. Shout out to the Echo folks. This little pan. Hey, what's up, dude? Brian. Hey, Brian. Love you. Hey, you're on camera, bro. Ezra with Easy Lawn Care. Where are you from, bro? Uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. So we're, we're pretty close, like, weather-wise. Um, yeah. Absolutely love your channel. Is it Wisconsin or Wisconsin? <laughs> it's somebody, Wisconsin. Somebody said that the other day. I was like, yeah. that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> hey, have you been to Equip before? No, this is the first time. And listen to all your stuff. Yeah. Finally made it out. I've been, like, over and over for, like, five years listening to your stuff. That's awesome. Uh, well, thank you. kind of made it out. And what do you think about the show so far? It's amazing. Is I mean, it? Stop at our our main uh, dealers that we use. Okay. Kind of, yeah, I've gone from there. What's uh, one thing you're looking for uh, at the show, like a mower brand or trimmer blower, anything uh, yeah, so, you're shopping for? So we're big Skag, uh, Echo. Um, cool. And then Western, we'll go, go visit now. Yeah. We love Listen. Western because we're from Wisconsin. They're from Wisconsin, so. Oh, no, I didn't know that. To support Skig from Wisconsin and there you go and Western from Wisconsin. So go get a V ride uh, 60 yeah. with that 37. I think yeah, it's a yeah. beast. Yeah, yeah. I don't you, know if you saw the 72 inch with the dually setup. No, uh, is it over in the booth? Yeah, booth's right behind you. I have to go check yeah. that out right after. It's, it's got a 40 horsepower engine, I believe. So that's, isn't it crazy? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's that's gonna be game changer. Uh, if people didn't come this year, should they come next year? Yeah, All definitely right. for sure. It's worth it. Yeah, so yeah. far. Yeah. Yeah, we still got I'm, two more days. I'm planning on coming to your event too. Okay. Uh, in November, we went to Mike Candy's event. Yeah. Uh, and saw you talk. Yeah. That event was killer. That was a good. That was a good. That was 400 people there. Yeah. That was of, awesome. A lot of people. Good so, energy. Yeah. Yeah, Mike. Energy. Mike did a great job with that. Yeah. Um, 
How was my presentation? Was it okay? No, it was great. It I didn't want to be like tough guy. It was a great change of pace because it was like all business, business, yep. like success, yep. money, and then you came in and it was like, just wait a minute. Yeah. Like, before you, you like know. run out of here yeah, and slay the world. Yeah, you gotta focus on like the backside, the family, the what you really want in life. And it was a great like change of pace, cool. not numbers, not yeah. just business. So that was awesome. I, I hope it didn't come in as like a know it all. I talked about marriage and relationships and how that's important because if you get to the finish line and your best friend's not there, your spouse isn't there, like what's the point? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But other than that, all the business stuff was like level ten. Yep. I wanted to stick around. I had to get going that day to get over here. But uh, that's awesome. Shout out to Mike Andy's team. Yep. All right, man. Hey, enjoy right. the show. Yep. Catch up with you, bud. It sounds good. Thank you. All right, guys. So we're over here at the Skag booth. Holy cow. A lot going on over here. You got the V-Rides. You guys know them. Uh, two things they got that are new. One's the Jackal. Jekyll or Jackal? I'm not sure yet. I think that was a movie in the 90s. Let's look at this really quick. 25 horsepower diesel engine. Adjustable flow rate. 1,125 pound lift capacity. All right. I'm sure they have a slew of attachments there, but... I don't know too much about skids, so you guys tell me, is this a good buy? Is this something that somebody else is making and they're just rebranding? I'm not entirely sure, but if you guys are Skag, man, they do have a good portfolio of product. You got your mini skid, you got a 72 aerator, the turf storm, you got the Skag windstorm, which is their leaf blower, RC, I guess. That looks cool, that looks new, but that way you got a little bit of everything in here, man. Uh, let me show you guys that aerator. A little drop seater in the front. All right, pretty cool. And here is the 72 V Ride XL. A little 360. Here you got the dualies on here. Wow. That's pretty awesome. All right, guys, so we're over here at the Skag booth. What was the name one more time? Levi. Levi. Yeah. Give me a high five, bro. So I didn't even get to get this guy's name. He just said, dude, your business has changed my life and the podcast. Okay, so give him what you were saying. Since I've listened to Brian's podcast and followed his content, I can tell you one thing, it's changed my life dramatically. Everything about it has just been life changing. I, I, I can't even put it to words, man. It's like, it, it's incredible to actually get to meet you in person too, but listen to it, take what he says and apply it. That's the biggest thing you can do. What was business doing? You were saying last, the first year or last year, you're doing like 30 grand or something? Yeah, we went from 30,000 to this year, we're gonna be doing just under 200,000. And next year we're gonna be doing at least a quarter million in um, in recurring. So I don't know what, that, what that'll what do for, you know, the extra project work, but what we've got currently, it's just been huge. That's incredible, so, brother. Yeah. Uh, so Fullerton Filter Podcast, we get a thumbs up? Absolutely, man. <laughs> there listen you go. to it religiously. That and the green grind, those are the best. Those are two of some of the best, yeah. amen to that. What's your biggest highlight of the show? What are you thinking so far? Dude, this is my first year here. It, it, it's overwhelming. If yeah. you haven't been here before, you gotta come check it out. The The classes that are in there, I think people are sleeping on them. A lot of people yeah. are coming out here to look at the equipment. Yep. But we'll, what we've got out there in the in the classrooms, if you're gonna learn more and be able to apply it. It's like your LAL stuff. Yep. Not going this year, maybe next year. That's fair, that's fair, yeah. brother. Hey, well, keep the hammer down, keep growing. Thanks for saying hey. Absolutely. Man. Yeah, all right, brother. Have a Thank good show. Absolutely. All right, let's keep it going, guys. All right, guys, so we're over here at the Honda booth, and they have a brand new zero-turn mower. Check this out. You got this thing over here. Autonomous mowing is the uh, other one on the other side, looks like. And uh, there you go. That's all I got for a brochure. But the Honda MWM. All right. There you go. All right, guys. Well, these guys have actually been super busy. They had a lot of people in here buying stuff, actually, at the show. Jeff, you good, bro? There you go. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good, man. We're just getting a little clip here, man. You got the equipment defender racks, yes. leaf floor racks. Leaf blower racks, they're, uh, they're pretty much universal. They work with any blower that you can, you know, out in the market. That's right. They're simple to use. They're adjustable. They're lockable. Yep. You know, pretty much the same. Our backpack sprayer works the same mechanism. There you, you go. Know, you just grab, you take it out, put it back in, pull the pin, drop it right in place. Lockable as well. There you go. Our combi system, all you do, same mechanism. You take, that, you take it out, you just drop it when you're done, pull it back every single piece of equipment in place. Heck yeah. What you do is you know they come with a, with a key or either a combination. Yep. So you open it, you unlock them, you take a piece of equipment out, this big funnel shape right here. Yep. Helps you a lot, it just goes right in. Yep. You know, and lines it up, you are done. If you want to stop, you, you know, make sure you your lock, you go down, you can go, if you push the lever, it will not come out. And at night, or when you go to eat, you can just turn this, nobody will access to the lock. There you go. Matt, we're continuing the video. What's up, bud? How you been? What's up? I'm yeah. good. You doing you good? Been? Hey, busy, 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 bro. Let's go. What do we got? So we got our sure can racks. These are fully lockable. To release them, you just pull that pin, they can come out. You can also fill your 
any of your two-stroke equipment without even ever lifting it out of the rack. There you go. We also have no spill gas can racks. Yep. Uh, chainsaw racks here, fully lockable, adjustable. We grab right onto the bar so your chainsaw can come out. Ice clamps just like that. There you go. Same with the head trimmer racks as well. We just have this support there to hold the handles. There you go. How's business? Business was great. Yeah, it's five so years now, six years now? Seven. Seven years. Seven years. Now. Is that crazy? Yeah, it's crazy. Business has been booming? Yeah, business is great. I Never love been it, man. better. I love Industry it. Industry seems to be doing good. Yeah, very healthy. Yeah. And uh, theft is on the rise. People are getting a little desperate in the economy. Oh, yeah. So, for leaf, sure. leaf blowers go missing. We hear stories every day, you know, calls, emails, while I got my stuff stolen, or I wish I had bought this a month earlier because somebody stole out of traffic light. Right. You know, people are more and more brazen. So. Yeah. I mean, in the broad daylight. Yeah. Uh, B&B Lawn Care almost had some stuff stolen just a couple months ago yeah. while he was home in his front lawn. Uh, yes. Crazy stories. Insane. Yeah. yeah. So make the investment. Check them out, guys. Equipment Defender. And uh, do we got a promo code? Brian's 10. You know it, brother. Yep. All right, man. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. And thanks for the support. Check them out. That's what we've been using. Five plus years on our rigs. There you go. All right. See, when you, when, you, when you have kids, you don't get to buy Lambos. But when you don't have kids, you buy Lambos, bro. Like, so buy your Lambo now, that way when you have kids, you already have your Lambos. Usually, yeah, by that time, it would be paid off. Yeah, What's new with you, man? How's Go Gang doing? Yeah. Thousand plus members, yeah. business is growing. How's the YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. How's the TikTok? TikTok's good. TikTok is right here. Yeah. Are you, are you in Go Game? The TikTok I'm champion. No, I'm not in Go Game. Not yet. Do, do I have the deal for you? Oh, I bet. <laughs> as long as Grant calls me personally, then I'll consider it. <laughs> yeah, but he could do that, you know what I mean? Yeah. When's your event? <laughs> okay. How's things uh, going? You guys selling some tickets? Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. How's, uh, how's GC in person? Strong. Is he is he chill? Is he like is he on camera who he is in person? He's uh, like when the no he's he's pretty much. Does he like attention. turn it on a little bit? With the camera, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Turns it on a lot. That's awesome. Yeah, Heck yeah. He goes like six, seven, eight notches up. Right? That's Coaster, awesome. Coaster knows. Yeah. Hey, you're in Michigan? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Oh hey, I follow you on Instagram, yeah. bro. What's the name? Christian. Christian. Yeah, yeah. I follow you on IG. Yeah. He's got a really cool Instagram. Murder down. Yeah. The black owl. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. Where are you in Michigan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Great Rapids. Lake New Holland. Holland. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go over there one day. We'll do a yeah. video. Nope. Yeah, I, I've been following you. I've been thinking about catching up with you. Yeah, yeah sure. I'm like following another Michigan boy. <laughs> yeah. You good? Yeah. I got a bounce for a sound check. Good, good. Hey. All right, guys. So we're over here at the Coyote booth, and a lot of you wanted to check out their equipment. Oh, they got zero turn mowers, skid steers, and tractors. All right. So here's the deal. I was talking with Tractor Time with Tim. Let you guys know, Tim. Really, really good dude. Hoping to shoot some videos with him here in the near future. If you'd like to see those, let me know. That way Tim can read those comments and be like, all right, yeah, Brian's a real deal. He's actually a really super cool guy. We did a little Isotunes booth takeover and uh, got to talk tractors for a couple quick minutes. And he said, you need to check out the Coyote brand. Well, if Tim's already endorsing that, then that's a good sign. So let's take you guys to the booth. And this was one of the videos that you guys were commenting on, one of the other equip videos that you wanted to see more of their booth. So I will uh, apologize in advance. I don't know a ton about tractors, but Let's go look at some subcompacts and uh, see what's going on. And just a little uh, timestamp, I'm in the market for a tractor and I'm hoping to pull the trigger on one here by next spring of 2024. And there's like the JDs, the Kubotas, the Bobcat, and the Coyote. So let's go check them all out together, right? So here we go, here is the booth. And first off, they got a cool range and lineup of ZTRs it looks like. But really I'm in the uh, subcompact market, a uh, 20 to 25 horsepower tractor and they got some really interesting options here this looks like a little bit of a smaller one you get the cs 250 20 25 20 which is probably 25 horsepower yep 24.5 all right that's a standard size tractor it's pretty good and we use these a lot for mulch so that's really my conversation and then of course once we have the property and we're living there we're gonna be using these things, you know, quite a bit for landscaping and all that other mess. So this one right here, another 2520. All right, so this looks like it has a bunch more uh, attachments. You got the mower deck, the little uh, boom, your excavator. What do they call this thing, guys? A TLB or something like that? There you go. All right, so no mower deck, but you got a snow blower. And unfortunately, the product rep is outside, so I, tried, I did try to get somebody for you guys, but that's okay. There you go. And then as we continue, we got some bigger equipment. I think this might be a little outside of my pay grade. I think this is more Mitchell Gordy uh, territory. 
We got the KL5521. And this right here is, let's go back. Oh, 44.9 horsepower. All right, so that's a little bit bigger, but it looks absolutely beautiful. And I really do like how these look. Not sharp. All right, they've got some skid steers. And I like how they're showing all the different attachments. You got the buckets, the mower, this grappler. For any of you guys that have like trees or maybe heavy wooded properties, this could be really helpful. KL 4030C. All right, so this might be the same tractor over there, but without the cab. No, uh, nope, that's a different model. All right, let's keep going. And uh, if you guys have any comments, man, leave them down below. Love to hear what you guys think. That's the Coyote tractors. That's the best I can do for you guys right now. All right, let's jump on this. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't get yelled at. All right, so looks like we've got parking brake. We've got forward reverse. Probably some different PTO. Is this manual? You've got some uh, charging ports. You got the 12 volt. And you got our ground speed. Where's your PTO? All right, so here you go. Low, neutral, high, mid. All right, there you guys go. Good visibility though. I do feel like you sit up a little bit higher on this tractor compared to some that I've uh, actually used. You got your uh, switches, your knobs, your throttle. All right. There you guys go. All right. A little impromptu. Hope you guys uh, appreciate that. Glad you guys wanted to see the Coyote tractors, and hey, there you go. All right, guys. Well, that's what I got for you at the Coyote booth. Uh, I'm impressionable, so I'd love to hear what you guys think about that brand and uh, all their different tractors. A lot of you guys wanted to see more there. I was a little bit more educated. I could talk to you guys a little bit more intelligently on them, but it's the best I can do. All right. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Let's keep it going. What's up, guys? All right. Well, trying to get outside a little bit here for you. It's a super beautiful day. Tons of rain last night. Uh, let's go see what we got going on out this way. You guys know the outdoor portion is we can demo and test almost anything. That's pretty freaking cool. That's what we got. There's that ants trailer. I've seen that on the uh, Almond Landscape Instagram page. Stanley Dirt Monkey doing dirt monkey things. There we go. Now all my guys are talking about this thing. SLT, Super Lawn Tech. They were uh, talking about our future of our company, where we want to go. And we're talking about Isuzu's, box trucks. Look at that, double ramp. And then I think this thing had a uh, dump box. All right, so check this out. Look at that. What in the world? You use that for grass or uh, mulch? Wow. That's gotta be a good uh, five or so, maybe cubic feet, maybe more, maybe eight feet cubic capacity, but look at all the configurations here. So these are Zuzu, the NPRs. You know, I really, really like that setup. We'll see, we'll see. Mitchell Landscape, shout out to these guys. I think they got a single ramp here, probably like hydraulically activated. All right, there you go. Pretty sweet. Got the mulch mate guys out here. We got Sam, Dawson, sweet. All right, you got that Skag aerator. There you go. Super windy day and that guy's up here, 40 feet. <laughs> I don't know about that life. Got the airplanes flying. Sounds about right for Brian's All Maintenance YouTube video. Oh hey, here's that Honda mower, check this out. A little autonomous action. Getting all muddy muddy. Whoop, 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 whoop. There you go. There you go. It seems like mini skids everywhere. Check that out, you got the 
tractor over there. A little video inception oh, here. Video, me? I'm video, video you. inception yeah. here, bud. What's, What's up, VIP? All right, we got the echo booth going on here. Chainsaws and stuff. X Mark 144, look how muddy that thing is. That's awesome. Hey, what's up, bud? Thank you. Hi, <laughs> guys. Well, the outdoor demo is always a good time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed some of those clip, uh, quick clips that I could capture. Running back inside here, I got to meet somebody up. But if you guys ever get out here, make sure you take a few minutes to get outside. There's so many things going on. Just not enough time to capture it all. All right, so we're here at the Spencer Products. Check this out. You guys might have saw this on Spencer's YouTube channel. To build something that was top quality that they deserve. Right, there you go. All right, guys, so we're wrapping up the show here. You can't wrap out without visiting the Mulch May booth. Nick Carlson, what's up, brother? What's up, buddy? How are you? Good, man. How you been? Good, man. How about you? Doing good. good. Uh, you look good every time I get to hang out with you, man. You look like you got this glow up, man. Yeah. Bus business good? Viking, right? No, business is great. <laughs> now we're doing awesome. Uh, doubled last year already again. Heck yeah, that's awesome. All right, we got about 90 seconds. The booth is wrapping up. The show is wrapping up. Let's do a little spin through because you got a couple new items here and uh, always a crowd favorite. So I'm following you. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go check out some of the new stuff with Mulch May. Next year. Exterior mulch mate. The exterior mulch mate looks exactly the same, except we've done a few things. We've added a different shoe cover. It's got zippers on it, so you can zip this guy shut. That's a huge improvement. Something driving me crazy. But this one, this is the biggest technological advancement we've ever had in mulch mate. It's called our super capacitor. Basically, it allows electricity to flow from the batteries to the motors a hundred times faster. So that is an absolute amazing game changer. Out here in the distance, we've got our new leaf cap on our DMTs. That thing is a game changer, 30 yard capacity, fully automated, so you press a button, it'll dump automatically. There's no human interference. Over here, we've got all our lineup of right mowers and all the cart mate and the snow mates over here, but the big thing with snow mate is we have our big actuator pack. This is a fully built out, custom made, articulating system with the actuator on top, but the big game changer here that everybody's been flipping out over has been our heated hand grips right here. These guys are toasty. So very hot, they attach to any stand on mower. We're getting ready to release the wiring harness for a sit down mower, three way adjustable, hooks right to the batteries, 50 bucks. That's a, that's awesome, 50 bucks actually, I thought it was like 500 bucks. Yeah, right, no, no, no. <laughs> Everybody tells me everything's too expensive. No, these things are amazing. They're that hot. is awesome, man. Um, hey, look, come back over here really quick, because yeah. uh, a lot of folks, uh, that's the new stuff, but you guys have been doing this for a little bit, changing the game in mulch. Come over here really quick. Yeah. Give me the 30 second, where's MulchMate coming from? Anybody hasn't watched you guys before? Yeah, so MulchMate is a, is a bulk material dispenser. It puts out rock, sand, dirt, compost, gravel, you name it, any kind of bulk material under three inch, and it'll fill wheelbarrows in three seconds and with a press of a joystick. Throw it down, it's all electric, zero maintenance, virtually solid operation. Yep. Uh, one of these units here could cost you 700 bucks a month, so it, it is a fraction of the cost of what a human being is gonna be, and a whole, whole lot less liability. That's awesome, brother. All right, where can people find more info? MulchMateUSA.com. All right, hey, we go way back. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. All right, man. Have a good show. See you guys.